fun to be in this building tonight with this crowd? Oh yeah, uh, it was amazing. As as, as always, it's uh, special. I don't I don't understand how they can scream for that long, but uh, good for them. Good for them. have to show negative PCR test for COVID to get into the arena but my mom and I were so stoked and excited to get down to warm-ups at this point and it felt good to be home. Oh my god they gave us t-shirts! Let's go! It feels so good to be back home. Uh, gonna get a picture of the gate behind me. They're not letting us go through the area to my left, but um, they got us uh, going uh, in separate lanes for our COVID precautions. I'm gonna turn around. So you have to can only go down that lane. The other place can only go down the other side. But guys, it feels so good to, the chants are amazing. Everyone's so loud. The boys could be playing a little better. It feels so good to be in the seats. You know, just getting loud again. And I think any hockey fan can agree with me, Mayor. We've missed this feeling so much, and it's an, it feels so good to be home. It feels so good to be home. Let's go, Islanders, baby. Second period coming up.
second period was that was a that was a period. Two missed calls on the Islanders, then they call us, and then the Islanders decide they don't want to play today. No puck possession, dump and chase game that does not work against the Flyers. No shots on net. Islanders looked like they were asleep that period. It was it was a massacre. Three nothing Flyers right now. Unless the Islanders decide, hey, we want to play today and actually enter the zone like they were for the last two minutes of that period. I, I want to see a goal. I just one goal. I don't care if we lose. I just want one goal. <laughs> one goal. That's all I want. So the third period's a little bit better. How are we feeling, Mom? Oh man, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Oh. guys That's it. Hi, see you soon, Kali. Said I can't show the horns after the game. There's no horns blaring tonight. Shut that one. <laughs> Nice to be back. Yeah, definitely. Nice. One last time. Uh, yeah, well, so. Uh, this guy's got to be Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, Islanders blew that. Couldn't hold the lead for, what, three minutes? Three minutes, all we had to do. Islanders couldn't do it. Keep plays out. That just sucks to come back that like that and just not get the poetic justice. That, that hurts, but at least we can eat. <laughs> oh, but it was nice coming back at least. It was nice being in those seats to see a game. Silver lining. I thought there was one person did it. I don't know if you heard that on the camera. Some person did the Islanders honk, but damn, wish we could have heard it tonight. <sighs> okay, in the car, going to get food after the game. Great to be back at the Kali, right over here. Uh, Islanders tied it up. Could not freaking believe it. And I knew it was too good to believe because then they gave up the lead like a minute later. <laughs> it, it feels like all that work for nothing, man. But still, I mean, gotta give it credit. You know, it was exciting to see my my team tie it up yeah, just in the goals. third period. Yeah, at least we got to enjoy a goals in the Coliseum. Like, that's all it was. You know, it's just like at least, you know, if we're if we're gonna lose, 
let us enjoy at least one goal. And we didn't just get that, we got to see them tie it up. And it was exciting and I was, it was, it was a good feeling again to be sitting in there. I ran across the section. I, I literally like sprinted across the section and back after that goal, but damn, I just, I wish they wanted it more, but Islanders didn't play a full 60 minutes. That's a fact. Second period, it's all, all it takes. But oh, it was good to enjoy a goal. At least I got to video some goals for you guys to see. But uh, now time for our after game ritual, which is getting diner, diner food. I want my pickles. <laughs> uh, and then I'll do a little analysis, I guess, when I get home. But. It's already time lock. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I wish this could have been a win tonight, but oh well. Okay, finally back home. I'm tired. I'm wearing the shirt that we got at the game. It says, uh, built on our fans. So I figured I'd wear it before bed. You know, honestly, we could have seen no goals tonight. We got to see a fantastic comeback, at least for a little bit. And you know what? It sucks to lose, but I am happy I was able to be there finally at home where Islanders fans belong. Um, so that's all I can ask for from a game. From being a team who's been wondering, would they stay on Long Island for almost a decade? It feels good to know that I, even though it's bittersweet that this is the last times we're going to be able to go to Nassau Coliseum, we will have a new home on Long Island and my team is staying here and that's all I can ask for. Um, even Barry Trotz said he was disappointed in the team tonight and that's how you know you fucked up. So Barry Trotz goes, yeah, I was disappointed. Uh, hopefully we can play better against them Saturday, but... I just, I feel good. I needed this. I needed a, just a day to relax and go to a game and feel kind of normal again, even though all the COVID stuff was off, but it still felt pretty good. The crowd was pretty loud for them. I'm glad I had, I'm glad I had fun and I'm glad I went. <laughs> so thank you for joining me for this little adventure of going to a New York Islanders game. Um, um, let me know if you want me to do another one of these. Hopefully it's for a winning game. <laughs> but, uh, I'll do another one if you guys want me to. Just let me know. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!